Hi, welcome to the class on uh, CVN 305. Today we are going to talk about the importance. So let us make sure I get everything right. So we are going to talk about importance of shear stress in ductile material. To now, we have been looking at axial forces in bar. So we had a bar like this, and we had forces F, F like that, and we always took a cut that was perpendicular to the bar, like that, right? So if I drew the free body diagram of that cut section, it will look like F, and then opposite force F. Here is the area. So I want to make sure that we all get this thing. So I'm going to mark this area in red. Notice that the key idea here is that the force is perpendicular to phase. Okay, such forces are called normal forces. Normal means perpendicular and the stress that we calculate is called normal stress. The book uses symbol sigma, which is pronounced For this okay on the other hand look at the following thing attachments behave very differently what I mean by that is imagine that I have two plates I'm going to show you this thing let's see there I have two plates, okay, what I have shown. And here is the bolt and it connects the plates and I am applying forces F and F. So is it obvious to you that the bolt is getting sheared, sliding or shearing on bolt? And in fact, if you draw the free body diagram of just this bottom part, here is the FPD of bottom. Here is the force F, here is the force on the bolt. Is it obvious to you that the force is parallel to plate, to face? So causing sliding. What I mean by that is, if I have two surfaces like this and I pull upon them, then the surface will separate. Can you see that? So this is called normal or perpendicular. On the other hand, if I have two surfaces and I pull it this way, is it obvious to you that the surfaces will slide like this? That's called shear. So, for shear stress, the force is parallel to the place and this is called shear force. And the stress equal to force parallel to surface. divided by area and this is called shear stress okay when you have shear stress you will get force parallel to the surface area and uh, you know when you do that in fact most ductile ma materials 
fail because shear stresses exceed critical value. They are actually they are more likely to slide than separate. So, ductile materials are more likely to slide than separate. normal and remember normal does not mean ordinary it means perpendicular ok. So, I want you to understand that that is how the shear stress thing works and I want you to understand that that is the idea. So, now what does it mean or failure criterion must look at joints more carefully. Let us look at an example and you will see what I mean. This is an example from the text. So, I am going to stick this kind of permanently on top so that you can always see this ok. So, our task is the following. The dimensions of the bar are given. This is a bar to hang machinery. From a roof. Ok. Um, dimensions are shown. So, we have to check whether it is safe again safety check. And we are going to state several things. So, this is called a hanger by the way in this part in that in the main part. So, it looks like this right can you see looks like that there is the hanger looks like that. In this part, the allowable stress sigma allowed has to be 110 max less than or equal to 110 MPa. Okay. So, then in this region, in this region allowable stress 